In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can create 3D cut and fill volumes. We now provide the ability to create truly 3D cut and fill volumes based on the 3D model. So earthwork quantities are now calculated from 3D mesh elements. We no longer need to create a set of cross sections to get cut and fill volumes. Now to create the cut and fill volumes, we use the create cut fill volumes tool. And that's going to create a 3D mesh element for our cut and a 3D mesh element for our fill. And now once you have those meshes created, then we can extract earthwork quantities directly from the 3D model. Now the 3D cut fill meshes can be created from terrains, corridors, linear templates, civil cells, or any 3D mesh element that has a civil feature definition. The way this works is the software scans the DGN file for feature definitions that represent existing and design elements. Now when there's a design element encountered, a bottom mesh is automatically formulated in memory. So there's no longer a need to create a bottom mesh or create a proposed terrain. We just simply use the feature definition that's assigned to those particular civil elements. So once we have the design elements defined, then it's going to compare those design elements against the existing elements. So typically your existing ground terrain. Now the result of this process is going to give us a 3D cut fill mesh elements that represent the cut and fill volumes. Okay, to illustrate how to create the 3D cut and fill volumes, I'm going to go into a different drawing now. So I'm going to go over to Browse. I'm going to go browse to my training folder here for quantities and earthwork. And we're going to go browse down to the uh, volumes cut fill London Road DGN file. So what we want to do is we want to extract the cut and fill volumes for the London Road corridor. Okay, now that the drawing's open, let's just kind of review what we have going on here. We got the plan view over here. This is our London Road corridor. We got our 3D model view over here with our various mesh elements and our components from our corridor. And I also have our cross section view here set up. So, what we want to do is extract our earthwork quantities or our cut and fill volumes for this particular corridor. So, to do that, I'm going to go up to my home tab here. I'm going to go under model analysis and reporting. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select the Create Cut Fill Volumes tool. Okay, now right away it's going to prompt us for a cut feature definition. I'm just going to set this for Volumes Cut. This just determines the uh, symbology and the feature definition that gets assigned to the uh, 3D mesh that represents the cut element that will be created. So I'm going to just left click through the prompt there. Now for our fill feature definition, I'm just going to use Volumes Fill. And again, this is just used for displaying the uh, 3D fill mesh element in the 3D model. So I'm going to left click to accept that and then use unsuitable. We're just going to set this for no because we're not using any unsuitable materials at this time, but we'll explain that a little bit later. I'm just going to left click through here. I'm going to data point to accept. Now what it's going to do is it's going to scan our 3D model. It's going to be looking for our design elements. And it's also going to be looking at our existing ground terrain model. It's going to compare those two uh, uh, surfaces together and then we're going to end up with uh, 3D cut and fill elements which are represented by the blue and red mesh elements that you see in the 3D model over here. Now in addition to that we have these 3D elements we're also able to uh, see what that looks like in the cross-sectional view here so if we take a look at the cross sections and we scroll through you can see the blue is represented by fill and red is represented by cut so if we just scroll through the sections from a cross-sectional standpoint you can see the areas of cut and their areas of fill that are displaying on the cross sections. Okay, so this is truly a 3D graphical approach to uh, getting more accurate earthwork quantities from your 3D models. So that's the very basic concept of how it works. Now, furthermore, let's take a look at the actual meshes that were created and take a look at their properties. So I'm just going to come over here and select one of the uh, cut meshes, and I'm going to go into my quick properties here, and you're going to see we have our cubic feet. And then we also have our surface area. You can see the feature definition name and then the feature definition that was actually used. Okay, so you can see we actually have quantities we can pull off or check just by looking at the properties. We can also take a look at the cross section as well to see the areas where we're in cut and fill from a cross sectional standpoint. Now, if we want to just further kind of take a look at some things, you can rotate the 3D model around. We can change the the display style if we wanted to. So I could come in here and change my display to like smooth with white background, for example, and take a closer look. 
We can also turn off our corridor in our 3D model here so we can get a better understanding of what's going on with our cut and fill volumes in the 3D model. So let's go to my references, toggle off my display, and we can spin this around and get a better picture of where the areas where we have some cut and the areas where we have fill. Okay. Now in addition to this, we can also create a report. So to create a report, all we have to do is go up to our model analysis and reporting tools and we're going to go over here to the quantities report by name boundary. We're going to select that and then we're just going to go through the prompts. Uh, it's prompting me for a name boundary group. Well, I don't have a name boundary group so I'm just going to left click to accept that. I'm just going to re be reading the quantities from the total model. I'm just going to left click. It's going to go through analyze our 3D cut fill volumes and anything that's in a 3D model and it's going to give us a report. Now notice up at the top here we have our volumes for our cut and fill shows us the volume there, shows us our linear lengths for some of our um, linear 3D elements, and we also have our pavement as well being reported in, uh, in the report here. So this quantities report by name boundary is, is truly 3D, so it's looking at all the 3D elements and the feature definitions and giving us a nice accurate report based on what's inside of the 3D model. And one last thing I'd like to point out here are the units in the report. So by default, you're going to get the volume reported in cubic feet. So if you need that in cubic yards, you need to go up to the tools, your format options, and toggle on the convert to cubic yards, and then it'll adjust the, uh, the values in the report. So keep that in mind. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.